Guten Tag, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Kaiserreich Legacy of the World Creek as Germany. Last time, we finally got our economy back in order, and uh, we now have 0% descent. We have 209 effective IC. Um, we've got lots of allies, and um, the only fly in the ointment is that the French outnumber us, and also the Reds are winning big time in America. But they're already a problem on the horizon, not something we have to deal with right now. But today we're going to try and close the um, infantry division gap between ourselves and the Frenchies. And also finally upgrade the ridiculous amount of outdated stuff we have. Um, that That's a big priority in fact. So first things first, we only need 40, indus 40 consumer goods. Like... It's a fraction of what we're currently using, so we'll leave that at 42 for good measure. Production is going to shoot up, however. We also need more supplies than we were already putting out. That's where that came from. Um, the main thing is production. I want to build lots of infantry divisions. We don't want to give them any. Um, we don't want to give them any, uh, like, you know, attachments, because that will just use up industrial capacity that we could be using to build more infantry divisions, which is more efficient. Unfortunately, that's the way that this game works. It's not terribly realistic, but, you know, what can you do? Um, it's one of the things I like about Hearts of Iron 3, in fact. But anyway. Oh, I'd say, like, ideally, let's, let's say we'll go with 20 in serial runs. We need a hundred for that. That should be doable. It is doable. Excellent. We'll go with that for now. Parliamentary scandal, yeah, blah blah blah. Who gives a damn? Um, although our descent is no longer... It, okay, it's decreasing a tiny bit, but fine. Um, there we go. fiddle with these a little more. I also want to see if I can make some adjustments to the old cabinet here. Consumer goods need, money production, industrial capacity, armor and artillery research time. Hmm. Albert Einstein! Hooray! Radar station, build time and cost. Nuclear reactor, build time and cost. Hooray. Um... Ow, Volta von Rathenau, plus 10% industrial capacity. That's pretty huge. I think we might be going with him. Or either that or Lud No! Ludwig is the enemy! Um. I think we'll. Yeah, we'll go with Volta here. Extra 10% industrial capacity would... Oh, God, yeah, look at that. It's already jumped to 221 as a result of that. Um, and the American Civil War. For good or ill, the American Civil War is now over. The general staff reported blah, 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 blah. Minus 1% descent, plus 5 manpower. Got a blueprint for wolf packs, amazingly enough, considering there was basically no naval combat in the American Civil War whatsoever, but fine. I'll take what I can get for free. How's our tech doing? Not terrifically bad, especially the assembly line experimentation, which is going ahead much faster than it normally would be on account of the fact that we got some blueprints for it from a very, very lucky research investment event. Um, so that's pretty great. How's Spain doing? Yeah, I think the Carlists are going to win this. Oh, 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 advanced scouting blueprint. That's... What is that? That's probably a naval thing. Let's have a look. Technology. Naval doctrines. Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's an air doctrine. No. Oh, no, no, it is. Advanced scouting. In fact, it's a research blueprint for one we're already researching, which is excellent. So, uh... Good, good, good stuff. That's going to be done pretty soon, actually. That is advanced commerce defense. Good. Oh, God. Is our descent increasing? I think it is. That's why it's red. 
And no, it's because I oh, it's because of our consumer goods thingy. Bah, I can fix that. There we go. Maybe I should dump some money into research or something just to reduce that a little. Substantial investment. No, I'll go with a limited one for now. There we go. Non aggression pact with Laplace has expired. Right, Kaiserreich economic policy. Three years after the black one, they our economy is slowly recovering. This can be the time to invest more money to further enhance our national interests. Invest in our Heimat. Test capacity, blah, blah, blah. Invest more in our colonies. Really? Um, invest more in our sphere of influence. Interesting. Announce new economic cooperation with our neighbors. Well, that's expensive. That will put us in debt, in fact. But, um... Does that give us the most industrial capacity? It does. So let's do it! I will willingly go into debt to get extra industrial capacity. Trust me on that. Besides, it won't take long for us to climb out of it. Um... We're making quite a bit of money, in fact, even with, you know, lowered um, consumer goods stuff. Ten more convoy trans. When are all, the, all these going to be done, anyway? September 4th, 1939, for the first batch. That's good, I guess. I'd like it a bit sooner, but what can you do? Once our assembly line stuff's up and running, though, that that probably help. Um... Oh god, the Union of Britain tried to assassinate Volta. Kind of that. The Earl of Plosti. After Romania's defeat in the World Creek, we were promised control over the rich oil fields of Plosti. The former leader of Romania, Codrianu, nationalised the oil fields a few years ago with much apparent fanfare, yet he didn't even dare stop the oil shipments. Now, with the monarchists back in power, it's time to remind them to honour their commitments. Yeah. They continue their oil shipments. Awesome. Minus one descent. Well, let's see. What the hell? Bulgaria just declared war in Romania? Interesting. Um, okay, naval doctrines. Aerial convoy, convoy defense, no. Um, Cabochet escort, maybe. Wolf packs. That could be useful, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Air Doctrine's logistical strike. Yeah, we're a bit behind on our tactical bomber doctrines, which is bad, because most of our air force is tactical bombers. Um, Manfred. Manny, get on it. Do your thing. Do what you do best. Um, basic, medium, t ooh. Blueprint in... Rocket test and research facility. Yay. Um, allow me to curb my enthusiasm. Uh, what was that one? That was regular tanks, 1939, wasn't it? Oh, good stuff. Um, I probably don't have time or industrial capacity to build a lot of regular tanks, but it's nice to have that technology there, I guess. Interceptor 1940 would be nice, though. Junkers fucker. Get to work. Interesting that the, the tech tree picture for Interceptor 1940 is of a BF 109G 10, I think, from 1944. Uh, but whatever. Um, let's see. Should really be a BF 109E4. But never mind. Um, war games, non-aggression pact with Russia has expired. Please don't go to war with us, Russia. Please. Please don't. Bring to alliance. They can't because it's against their policy, damn it. Stop being so isolationist, Russia. It's very annoying. Wilhelm Gruner has died. One of the heroes of the World Krieg and victor over the Bolsheviks, Feldmarschall Wilhelm Gruner has passed away today. Damn, never mind. We've 
got new young blood arriving in the form of people like Rommel soon enough, so it's not that bad. Not that, not that big of a loss, really. Um, okay, ten convoy transports again. Still need more though. I'd like these bloody aircraft carriers to be done, honestly. Assembly line experimentation, hooray! Which now means we can branch out into aircraft assembly line, ship assembly line, vehicle, and small arms assembly lines. Um, we're going to go with small arms first. That will significantly reduce the production time for infantry. Significantly. So, uh, that might take a while to research, though. We don't have a blueprint for that. We did for the other one, so. SMS Hugo Eckner may now be deployed. The Paul Heinlein can be deployed. Is this our new aircraft carrier? It is! Let's plomp them down there with the Graf Zeppelin. Um, what's this? Makings of a fleet is what it is. Let's merge it all. What have we got here? Aircraft carriers, battleships. The whole bunch, really. Although, let's move you guys over to Rostock and we'll merge you in there. We could, be with, we could use a few more battleships, I think. And you need a promotion, apparently. Will that be enough? Nope. Grand Admiral, that should be enough. There we are. Brilliant. Three aircraft carriers. All brand new. Good stuff. A fair few battleships to back them up. Do we have more aircraft carriers than the British now? They have eight carriers? My god, where the hell did they pull those from? Oh, jeez. Uh, well, anyway, never mind. Um, Hoffman versus Richthofen. An exciting day for the history of aviation. Manfred von Richthofen has accepted Louise Hoffman's challenge. Today, both pilots flying customized Fokken 11s started in... Dar, Dar es Salaam in Middle Africa for the first solo flight and air race around the world. His Majesty has wished best luck to, and Godspeed to both pilots. May the better pilot win. We'll find out soon enough. Yep, 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 yep. Fuck off, France. Von Richthofen wins. Manfred von Richthofen has just landed in Dar es Salaam. He is now officially the first man to fly alone around the world. Louise Hoffman landed 13 hours later and congratulated her opponent. Again, the German flying legend has proven to be the world's best pilot. National Science Chamber, minus 1%. And, yeah. Of course, this is random chance here, pretty much. Ho though potentially Hoffman could have won. And uh, potentially both contestants could have failed to finish. In which case we would have lost von Richthofen as a tech team guy and a general, uh, which would not have been good. Logistical strike doctrine. Speaking of my von Richthofen. <laughs> um, night strafing next, please. Is there anyone who could do that better? Mauser can do that better. It's more of a technological thing anyway. Um... Ugh, look at all those French stacks. Don't like it at all. Intelligence. 121 division. Gah! That's almost twice what we currently have. That's not good. Although we're building in serious bulk here, so we should be relatively okay, I think. Also, we're wasting industrial capacity here. That's not good. Get on those upgrades, damn it. Plastic Defense Doctrine. Hooray! Good man, Heinz. Kampfkopper's the next one, but that's 1941, so that's a really long way off. I don't think we'll bother with it, really. Not yet, anyway. Logistics 1940 wouldn't be a bad idea, though. We could throw on that Generalstab. Bulgaria annexed Romania. Oh. Uh oh. What's that going to mean for our oil? Bollocks. 
Okay. This is not good. Um, the French automation has arrived in Berlin. They are demanding that we hand over the Imperial Province of Alsace-Lothringen, which hasn't been controlled by the French since 1871. The French are threatening with war if we refuse. This is where we must stand up to the French and resist their ambitions of world domination. <laughs> we can't afford to do either of these options. <laughs> it's, the, it's the truth of the matter here. <laughs> I thought it might be a bit later than this, but apparently not. Uh -oh. Right, well this is the point where either the, the Let's Play comes to a crashing halt when we lose to the French, or we pull a victory out of our asses. I'm hoping with all these allies we've got, we'll actually pull the victory out of our asses. Because we're not as ready for this as I would have liked to have been, to put it bluntly. see maybe quality will trump quantity it is war so the bastards and coming into France declared war upon us enemy troops preparing to invade our country we have to plan our defense immediately yes we do uh, but um you know I personally feel the best form of defense is offense so I am going to immediately see if we can't, although the French have already started advancing over here, I believe. These guys are moving, see? Um, <clears throat> okay, right. I need to get my game face on here. <laughs> this is not going to be easy. Um, well, first things first. No, I didn't want to... Well, I guess that works. Um, Can I merge all of you? Or just some of you? Right, these guys merged. Need to rebase to Belgium. Uh, as do you. As do you. We're going to need our Air Force. Our Navy. For now. We're going to adopt a strictly defensive posture. All of it. Just clicking bloody drag, damn it. Um, you guys, what the hell were you hanging around in the bag there for, damn it? Um, anyway. And, um. HK needs to move up there. <sighs> right. Um. Right, we've got a big, big, big old pile of troops here, including our armored spearhead of 1940 light armored divisions, which is pretty damn sweet, actually. So, without further ado, let's see if we can blast our way into Lil. I'm not sure if we can, to be brutally honest, but we'll give it a go. If it doesn't look like it's going to work, then we'll stop. We don't want to wear our troops out. Right, here we go, here we go. This is going to take a while. This initial stalemate here was going to, it's going to take a while to break either way. Bremen has been attacked by other such of public event. They bugger off. Press censorship. War propaganda. Convert convoys and transport some women work. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at our decisions then. War propaganda. Change our manpower total and reduce descent. I'll save that. Convert convoys into transports. Press censorship. Reduce descent again. Don't need that right now. Women work. Prior to the First World War, women roles in society basically reduces descent and increases industrial efficiency. So I guess we'll do it. Um, 
We're going to put women to work in factories and whatnot, basically, I think. We're going to need it. That will have consequences later on, I imagine, but for now, the in added industrial efficiency. We have lots of industry now, by the way. Um, like, a heck of a lot. And our consumer goods needs have been slashed as well. So... Right, upgrades are not as important right now as building new stuff. So that's what I'm going to do there for that, I think. How many more infantry divisions can we churn out with that available industrial capacity? Rather a lot, it turns out. Hello. Damn. That's a lot of infantry. That will make a difference. A big one. Um, for now, my plan basically is to destroy outright destroy as many French divisions as I possibly can. This initial thrust here with our tanks and whatnot, the idea is, and it's not going to work, I guarantee you, because, you know, I'm not that good at this game and my plans generally tend to fail miserably, but the plan here is basically to punch through into what is proper province is this, Lille, then Amiens here, cutting off these French divisions in Dunkirk and Calais, which, at which point we will push into Dunkirk and Calais, and since they'll be cut off and have nowhere to run, we'll, we'll, we'll do a real-life Dunkirk. Just like they did in real life, and we'll crush immediately and just outright obliterate those divisions there. And my plan, basically, is to encircle like that as much as I possibly can, in order to outright destroy divisions rather than just push them back and force them to retreat, because that just doesn't solve the problem, that just postpones it. We need to get troop, the, uh, French troops into prisoner of war camps, basically, not retreating back across, you know, their own territory. That's how we're going to win this. So first things first. Oh look, 1924 tactical bombing wings. Thanks, Belgium. Um, ground support. A single province. Infinite mission time, and we'll do it night and day. Stop if below 34. You guys as well. And you guys. Just throw everything at them. Hope something sticks. Um, everyone else just hold the line, basically. Um, oh, everything's riding on this armored spearhead up here, which is, like I said, probably going to fail, but never mind. Um, the balls. Oh, yeah, the Brits took this random bit of Sweden up here, didn't they? Um, you know, let's move you up here. Uh-oh. What? Oh, is Norway hostile? Oh, Norway is socialist. They're a, uh... Oh, okay, they're allied with the Brits. That's interesting. Well, anyway, for now... Ah, there they were. Damn and blast it. Where are my submarines? Come on. Give me my subs. Oh, that's carriers. Um, there we go. Convoy raiding. Yes. Day and night. Infinite. Go. Same for my destroyers, I think. All these cruisers, they'll do. Let's kill some convoys. Starve out the British troops over here in Scandinavia. And we're destroying some Norwegians as well. And we've got a new aircraft carrier, which means that freed up some more production. Not much, but it freed up a little bit. I might have to slow down the time a bit here, but we'll see. Good news is that we seem to be winning over here by some miracle in Lille, but I, you know, I can't imagine that'll last for long, because the French are probably reinforcing that position as we speak, but... Wolfpax is done, hurrah. Um, I'm playing really defensively right now, basically, with my navy, because I don't want to go do something really risky and silly and just lose everything. Um, carry division, aerial support, uh, massive strike. I, I f I'm leaning towards massive strike at the minute. Because it gives us convoy escort efficiency, basically. Um, wow, they're they're, they're kind of weak, aren't they? 
Right, those are- oh, there's all my transports. That's where they're bloody hiding. Right, I forgot to move out the rest of the fleet. There we go. Okay, we are continuing to um, against every... Wow, okay, we've got von Lundstedt in charge, no wonder. We are uh, continuing to kick the French's asses, which is more than I was actually hoping for. This gives us a good chance to actually look at their troops, mind you. Look, they've got lots of 1936, 1935, 1931. So it looks like they're about as out of date as I am, although I have the advantage of Panzer divisions, as you can see. We even have some 1939 infantry divisions knocking around. Ironically, they're Belgian. <laughs> the Belgians are actually better equipped than we are, which is embarrassing. But, you know, what are you going to do, I suppose? Um, we are upgrading. It's just a very slow and irritating process. Although, once like, that huge stack of 20 divisions arrives, they'll all be fully upgraded at, you know, the maximum possible level of upgrade upgradedness. Because they'll be 1939 infantry, and they're going to kick ass. Much like these panzers appear to be doing, although it keeps getting pushed back, as you can see there, every time some more reinforcements arrive, because the French are probably realising at this point, oh crap, we really need to plug that gap. Um, Uh-oh. Some of our planes are being attacked. Um, I know those are... Italian planes attacking some of my transports. Sod you. I think we may have just... Yeah, some of our bombers got a bit of a mauling there. Um, superiority. Uh, region? Area? Region, I guess. Information. I'm not expecting much from this. It's just three, you know groups and they're really outdated. They're flying fucking biplanes. So, yeah. The Luftwaffe in Kaiserreich is not as powerful as it probably was in real life at this point. At all. I've not been paying much attention to my Air Force. It, 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 air Forces in this game are a bit of an afterthought sometimes. They really are. Um, Fleet and Skagerrak has made Conga attack with the enemy. The skies above... Yeah, okay, so the French... Gave us a bit of a mauling in the air. Hopefully it won't make too much of a difference. We're still kicking their asses down here in Lille, although, yeah, look, they're sending guys and it's... My god, message boxes, right? I'm going to have to fill some of this crap out. Let's see. Yeah, that. Don't need to know about it. Okay. 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 Oh my god, we're getting bombarded with messages from this place here. Because the bleeding Norwegians keep sending out tiny little ships there and then getting blown up. And then it's just spamming with messages as a result of it. <clears throat> oh, Union of Britain this time. We won pretty handily, so it can't have been a very big force. Didn't in game log, please. More citizens of the Baltic, yep. Bloody Skagarak, shut up! I don't want to know! And another carrier's ready, good stuff. I. Thank you. There we go. What we are doing here, even if we're not making much progress, is we're wearing out loads of the French divisions. Look at these guys, they're all knackered as hell. Um, so that's good. Union of Britain's declared war on Denmark. Wonderful. Which means they might try to invade Denmark, which wouldn't be terrifically good. But I don't think they, sh they can, at least not without going through our ships first. What the balls were I playing? Hang on a minute. Canada declared war on the Union of Britain. Hurrah. More problems for the syndicalists to deal with. Where are my ships gone? The ones that were here. Get back there. Damn it. Lost a battle against these guys in the Schalt Estuary. Oh, they were Flemish. 
stuff. Ah, the Austrians have arrived, or are in the process of arriving, although I really wish they'd send more guys, come on. Ukrainians are dragging their feet as well. Um, you know what? Diplomacy. Assume military control. Assume military control. I'm guessing we probably can't with the Austrians, but... We can, in fact. Never mind. Get your asses over here. Please. Pretty fucking please. I mean, as in, do it right bloody now. My god. Oh, for crying out loud. Get on with it. What? Why won't you let me move these guys? Oh, it's because I've, I've selected some garrison divisions, that's why. Oh boy, yeah, the French have taken Bruges. Can we make a counterattack? Uh, apparently not, because we're under attack. Oh Christ, that's not good. That's like really frigging bad. Um, you make a counterattack then. Relieve the pressure a bit. Um, Austrians, get your asses up there. Oh, these are all bloody garrisons. Redeploy to Antwerp. Strategically, because it'll be faster. Apparently we have some guys here that aren't doing anything. Ah, well, Austrians, right, move. Oh my goodness, victory in Antwerp. Massive casualties. Antwerp. Antwerp, yeah. Denmark begs for protection. We shall indeed protect them. Super. Um, how's this going? Still in our favor, but only about bloody yes. Oh my goodness! Look at those casualties. We lost. We sorry. We inflicted 112,000 casualties in personnel. We took 46,000. That's a pretty good kill-death ratio, if I'm honest. Not including all this stuff. Trucks, horses, anti-tank, anti-air, artillery, heavy artillery. Tanks, everything, man. Okay, we crap... Cr we kicked their asses in Lil. And we've instantly moved in there because, you know, we were pretty much ready to go with that. Um, this is where it gets weird. Um, some of these guys need to hold position, and some of them need to move. These guys are not going to be holding position. They're tanks. That they, you know, I'm going to be using them to attack. In fact, move straight into Dunkirk because apparently we can do that unopposed, which is hilarious. Have some infantry as backup, which means that it'll make this counter attack over here in Dunkirk a lot easier. And also, if we do kill these nine guys. These nine divisions in Dunkirk, they'll be destroyed because they're cut off. I mean, not they're not in Dunkirk, sorry, they're in Bruges. But anyway, you know, you get what I mean. Um, crush them. See, they're, look, a unit, they're out of supply, the French, which means that they're getting a massive penalty to combat. Defeat in Mons. Uh-oh. -uh. That's not good, but we won in Bruges. Which is excellent. So, which means we can move you guys over here to Dunkirk. Oh wow, yeah, Mons, that's that's not good. That's like seriously not good, dude. I don't want bloody air forces selected. Damn it! I want infantry. For crying out loud. Oh, bugger off, honestly. Um, go land somewhere else. Just stop annoying me. Go land over there. So I can actually select the infantry. For fuck's sake. Right. You stick. Yeah, stay put. You guys move there. You guys move here. These guys need to die. Right here. Right. You know what? In fact, attack, attack, support. Uh, well, everyone except for. them. Support attack. That should be enough to kill them, although 
Maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe I want to take Hyosan and Sedan and then cut these nine guys off here. That might actually be a better idea. Yeah, screw that. Oh, whoops. That I didn't actually mean to do. Never mind. Um, yeah, you guys move down here. Um, that's what we'll do, I think. We'll put a pincer down here. Provided we can actually do it. That's not a foregone conclusion, really, exactly. Um, but I guess we'll get started. Attack. Support attack. And we'll wait. Uh, we'll... These guys really need to attack, but they're a little precarious out here. I sort of need a big stack of them sat there defending for the minute rather than attacking, but whatever. That's so how we get on. We'll try and attack Sedan one baby step at a time. Not going as amazingly as I'd like. What the? Uh, Dunkirk. Good stuff. Okay. We successfully defended it, I imagine, is what's going on there. Um. Can the Panzers go ahead and attack Calais? Not particularly successfully, forget it. Um. Bloody stack form of fortifications causing all sorts of problems. So I'm in by stalemate here. Um, see static forts. They just make this entire section down here just completely bloody immovable. Um, oh god! Right? No! 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 Don't do that! Christ! Stop it! Stop it! No! None! Stop! Don't attack! I forgot to tell them to stop attacking. <laughs> Whoops. Um, okay. Need to attack here some, but I lack the manpower to do so. Um, can we attack Amia and then cut off these five here? I mean, that's not much, but it'll do in a pinch. I'm going to accept you, and you, and you, attack Amiya, and the ones that aren't attacking, uh, said the ones that aren't attacking, support attack Amiya. This might not work, frankly, but we'll give it a try anyway. T. E. Lawrence is back and raising hell. Our commanders in the Rhine and the Zarland regions indicate that the former scourge of the Ottomans, T. E. Lawrence, aka Lawrence of Arabia, uh, along with other agitators and agents, is travelling through the countryside and working with local underground syndicalist movements to sabotage elements of German industry. That's annoying. Um, oh God, you Ukraine! Why are you just standing around doing nothing? Move. I really need bodies over here. Forgot about you. And the bloody Baltics as well. Move! Get your asses down here now! But this lot, those are all garrisons. They're moving, they're just taking their sweet time. Come on, Austria. Get your shit together. You, HQ, you can move up to Luxembourg, it'll be more useful there. What about my air forces? Are you in a fit state to go bomb Sedan? Because that would be awesome. If you could do that. Ah, uh, still not going great. Defeat in Brussels. Oh, mother of God, this has got to stop. Seriously. Wait, actually, you know what? They just made a bit of a critical error there. They've moved everything into Brussels. They've got one guy in one cavalry division in Mons. Kill it. Cut them off. Mother of God, do it. Do it now. We also have army arms, which is good. Which 
which means we cut those guys off, which means these guys can attack there. Defeat Strasbourg. Uh, ooh? Oh, we've we won in Strasbourg. My god, I read misread that a bit, didn't I? <laughs> wow. Although we've apparently lost in Mets, which isn't good. Alright, you guys change your plan. You guys move here. Get ready to counterattack. Wow, look at that massive stack. 31 divisions sat around there. Yeah, no wonder they didn't hold very long. What are these? No, 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 no. HQs, get down there. Damn it. Wow, look at Belgium, it's a complete mess. Um. Right, come on, quickly. Kill these guys and close that gap. Awesome. Amiens has been... Oh, I guess we got forced back there, did we? Damn. Right, oh, well, you got lock attack there. And bloody planes! Stopping me from selecting my infantry. It's very annoying. Um, we might not need to, though, so let's not worry about it too much. Yeah, they're going to get wiped out. Awesome. Yeah, we just lost Mets, but we should be able to take it back. Yeah, counter-attack for the win. Um, I mean, we should wipe out a significant number of French divisions in Brussels, actually. They kind of put themselves into an encircling maneuver, which is hilarious, but whatever. Right, you guys move to Dunkirk. Now, before it gets overrun or something. In fact, it may well do. Oh, Christ, they're actually retreating. Um, that's not good. This is such a mess. Also, these t provinces are bloody tiny as well, which doesn't help much. Um, are we still trying to attack Sadad? Because that's probably not a great idea. Just stop that. I mean, I mean, that doesn't need to happen anymore. That's a bit obsolete, that particular plan. Victory! We wiped out a whole bunch of them. Out of curiosity. 153 infantry divisions. I think it might be fair to say we're winning at this point, but it's a little bit, you know, unclear. To be fair. So anyway. Yeah, let's, let's take stock here a minute. Um, you guys... Let's move you there. Victory in Mets, yep, good stuff. It's a Dan Day celebration. My god, it's already been a year since the last one. Uh, and counter-attack again. Again, I think. Okay, that's not going as well as I would have liked it to. That's kind of annoying. Um, oh, oh, infantry's about to arrive. That's the first one. A whole bunch more are going to arrive in a minute. Um, and the Ukrainians have arrived. All 50 million of them. Um, Alright, let's dump you in Liege for now. Oh my god, look how many of them there are. Attack! may not end particularly well actually because you know it's gonna after a certain point basically the more troops you have actually the less effectively they fight and so this is this might actually be an epic failure of unimaginable proportions but maybe the numbers will work in our favor oh my goodness and there comes the other 20 billion of our infantry divisions France you are your days are numbered let me tell you Nine's a good number. Paulus. 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 Why does that name ring a bell? Something to do with Stalingrad, I think. Anyway. Field Marshal von Blomberg. You can take command, I think. Paulus will give you another command soon enough. Don't you worry, little head. Put these guys up. Actually, you know what? Since he's a Field Marshal, I think he can carry a few more units.
There we go, yep. Yeah. Um, general, general, we want... Modal! Normal! See, this is what I was talking about. All the good, all the awesome guys are starting to turn up. Um, these are both panzer leaders, but... Eh. I'll have to do... Lieutenant General, General. Yeah, that'll do. There we go. You fellas! Ah, ha, ha, ha. Let's put you... Where can we... Where the heck can we put you? I have no idea. Uh, whatever. We'll just... You just sit tight for now. Get Regain your organization and all that stuff. Um, you, you, the entirety of the Ukraine has arrived um, for now, so you, your services probably aren't required just yet. Um, let's see how the Ukrainians fare. They seem to be doing okay for now, actually. So this is what this is what I meant by our allies should make up the difference. <laughs> Strasbourg defeats. Oh, damn it! Bloody blast it all. But yeah, stop that. Support this attack instead. Hey, there we go. That's what I like to see. Nice counterattack. Okay, we did lose Strasbourg just now, but if we counterattack, now we should be able to get it back and cut them off in the same time, hopefully. What's all this? Victory and Nancy. Hey, sweet. Um, anyway, I, I probably need to. You, oh my goodness, yeah, we need lots of reinforcements. So many reinforcements, in fact, that I can't afford to provide all of them. But um, that will go down pretty fast. I forgot about reinforcements, fuck. Um, Alright, well, we should be alright in the meantime. Just. Uh, T.E. Lawrence has moved north. That damn T.E. Lawrence is continuing to cause trouble, growing bold as he moves his band of reds while blending in with the civilian population irritatingly well into our northern industrial cities. Cannot be allowed to carry on. Duh. Very annoying. But what can you do? Oh, this is getting confusing now. The Ukrainian stack of doom is actually obscuring the front line here a bit. I think I might have to actually switch this to sprites just so I can see what I'm doing. Oh Christ. Um, oh god, it all just looks weird now. I can't tell what's going on at all. Um, let's get some arrows on the screen. Goodness, that's a lot of Ukrainians. Anyway, you guys attack there. I guess you guys can support attack. Or not, actually. Maybe you guys can make a break out here and then surround them, maybe? Don't know. Might be worth a go. Move you guys there. Let's have you guys attack there. What are you guys up to? Are you defending? Oh, right. Yeah, we should probably send you some help. Send our panzers up there. We can get there a lot faster. Otto Wells dies. Leader of the SPD, Otto Wells, passed away today due to poor health. Yeah. New gigantic loss. Oh, okay, we're doing quite well there. Oh, Jesus. Come on, come on, come on. Oi, there we go. Now we can push into Lyon. Hey, yes, awesome, 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 awesome. Right, <laughs> um, support attack, and can we get like some of you to attack? Maybe not all of you. There we go. Do a bit of a little, a little bit of an encircling movement here. 
What the? Lost Dunkirk. Oh, blast and damn it all. Again? The sooner we can take rhymes, the better. And yeah, we got our asses handed to us by the RAF, except that, well, they're the Republican Air Force now, as opposed to the Royal Air Force. Convoy transports. Romania's declared independence from Bulgaria, probably as a puppet, I imagine? Yeah. As long as it doesn't affect our oil. That's all I care about. What's going on over here? Oh, the... Where? Oh, one of their carriers is attacking our port and our air bases and stuff. Weird. Um, uh oh, that's not good. Um, you guys move to Lil before it gets grabbed by the French again. Ups and downs here, really, isn't it? Fleet and Bruges are under attack from the Union of Britain. Shut up. Don't care. Attack. Support attack. Captain. What? Oh, it's Austrian ships. Alright. There. I was like, I don't have any fleets down there. What the hell are you talking about, game? No, you guys need to recover your stuff, your organization and things. Reinforcements still not looking good, but hey. What can you do? I think it might be time to move up some of these fresh infantry divisions. Just put some of you up there and some of you there. We've got all our Ukrainians concentrated into one place, which is both a blessing and a bit of a curse at the same time. Um, why can't... Why, why can't you attack? Attack, damn it. There we go. You're going to need any help with that. You might, you know. Oh. Romania declared the Bucharest Treaty dead. In our darkest hour, the treacherous Romanians decide to stab us in the back to stop their and stop their oil shipments. One day they will pay for their treachery. You're damn right they will. It's getting really awkward. Why can't I? Yeah, support attack. There we go. For some reason that 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 little um, province there is actually really annoying to click on. I don't really know why. It just is. Game seems to have issues with it. Intercept 1940. Hey, nice. And this is done too. Kampfgruppe. Now, uh, where are you, Heinz? There you are. Do it. Aircraft. Let's get some. This is really not, not that helpful. Um, sturdy equipment. Let's do that. Who could work on that? Merc, I suppose. Hmm. Who are you attacking? Support attack. And attack. They're attacking somebody, these guys, here. So I'm going to try and relieve the pressure off whoever they're attacking by attacking them. Which actually seems to be working out quite well, so good for us. Right, let's see if we can lead a, another counter attack on Dunkirk. Japan has annexed the King Empire. Wow. Good on you, Japan. You usually don't really do much in this game, unlike in regular Dark Star, where they ruffle stomp all over the place. Um, they don't usually do much in Kaiser, right? But apparently they're kicking ass, so good for them, because they're kind of with, you know. They're not on our side, but, you know, they're not communist, and therefore, you know, it's good that they're winning, I suppose. Hey, I think we're winning. Up 
that. Good stuff. Now, what the heck? Did we lose? Oh, bollocks. Now my encircling thingy over here is not going to work. Let's see. At least they're making progress in Verdun. That's good, I guess. Uh, let's move you. We need to get this back here. Immediate mall. Oops. Support. I need at least some of you guys to. Whoa, okay, I've got more selected than I thought I did. Right, some of you guys need to stop and attack Rhymes instead. It might not go very well though, because these guys are doing a, are running a bit low on organization, frankly. We've got to try. Shetland Islands, just bugger off, honestly. Who the heck do we have in the Shetland Islands? Some Austrian submarines, fuck's sake. Uh. What have we got here? Victory in Dunkirk, good stuff. Although they're counter-attacking yet again. T.E. Lawrence has moved east. Ugh. Fuck you, T.E. Lawrence. He got away barely. The troublemaker Lawrence fell for our trap in Dresden, but managed to shoot his way out. We believe one of our lancers managed to land a rifle round in his leg as he escaped. But other than that, we believe he was successfully extracted a few days later from Stettin by a French submarine. We might not have killed him, but he certainly will not trouble us, trouble us again. Awesome. Uh, oh, we only need 36 reinforcements now. That's good news. They just standing around in Bruges for go and reinforce Dunkirk, you, you fools. Um, see, these guys are about to break here and hit Son, but it's not going to work now because the French took back Rhymes. Bollocks. Victory in here, Son. Yeah, well, blasting, damn it. Ruhe in Frieden. Johann von Bernstorff dies. Former ambassador to the USA in the Ottoman Empire and former state secretary for the interior. Has died. Hey, I think we won in Dunkirk. Awesome. Right. Enemy in sight. Where? Where? Didn't catch that. Nancy. Ag again? My god. All of you. Support attack. And kill them. There we go. That's really annoying me, that bit down there. Von Rundstedt's becoming an assaulter and a ranger, apparently. Cool stuff. Kill cool beans. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We need to take our hands back. Do it. This Nancy, right? Okay, we won Nancy again this time. Um, you guys, whatever. Yeah, and immediately they're attacking Nancy again, and so the backwards and forwards continues. Ugh. Right, Amiens is ours again. Hopefully it will stay that way. Are we attacking the guys in Calais? We should be, if we're not. Oh yeah, nice, 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 nice! Yes! That's ten dead French divisions. Sweet. They're down to 134. Damn, that is good. And our army's growing. Whereas theirs is actually shrinking. This is particularly damn good news. Um... Right, question is, we've got Rhyme sat here in front of us now. Do we attempt a fancy encircling maneuver by going to Troy and Chaumont here and trying to trap those 14 divisions there? Or do we just push on in and smack them about a bit and push them back over this river here? 
The encircling thing would be better, but... I really don't know if I can... I think it might just be more beneficial to just smack a few French divisions about a bit. And reduce their morale and, you know, strength and organization and whatnot. So, I think that's what I'm actually going to do. Let's just do a straight up attack. Maybe get a bit of support attack going on down there. And up here. Oops, no, 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 support. Um, you guys can move down. Well, or strategically redeploy whatever floats your boat down there. Um, wow, they're seriously pushing you back out of Nancy again. What is this? Rhymes. Oh yeah, that didn't take long, did it? <laughs> wow. Um, can we grab Diet now? That's the question. Might be able to. Let's try it. Maybe with the help of this lot? We're really, we're, we're literally next door to Paris right now. This is obviously really damn good. Um, defeat in Nancy again. Yeah, to nobody's surprise. Forty-four for for bleh, get lost. When's our next shitload of infantry supposed to be delivered? March twenty-third, March twenty-fourth, nineteen forty. February twenty-second, nineteen forty. For most of this, a while ago, yeah. Then a few months. On the bright side, we're kicking ass and taking names in Dieppe. Defeat Strasbourg. Oh Christ and a bloody Just leave me alone. Dieppe Hey, we won in Dieppe, sweet. Um that puts us in a very good position. Panzers move that way. And these guys with armored cars. Cavalry, I think. Feet in Strasbourg. Can you tell I'm a little bit annoyed? Um, oh, we're, we're fighting the British now, apparently. Interesting. Whoa, oh, ugh, okay, okay, maybe stop. Whoa, stop, stop, stop. Apparently, a bunch of million divisions appeared out of nowhere. That's where. Okay. Um. Forget about that. We'll try that again when we've actually got more troops to do it with. Um, although we could probably do it now, honestly, if we just attacked with everything. Let's see. Let's support attack. And then go away, box. And then attack with maybe them. Small arms assembly line. Hooray. Finally. That's what I was looking to see. Uh, okay, one well, next. Vehicle assembly line. I think... That should have bumped the time forward for these arriving by quite a bit. Yeah, these will now get here in January. As opposed to February. They're, their uh, production's been brought forward by about a month. And these guys, guys by even more. Look, February, they're going to arrive. So, hooray for that. I do need more reinforcements, though. And as ever, we continue to require more upgrades, but never mind. Sight and Mets. Oh, for Christ. It's like a mirror image. They're pushing into Germany this way, and we're pushing into France that way. It's not good. Um, we might be able to cut them off here, though, if we take Nancy, however. So, it may just work in our favor if we're lucky. Victory and Nancy, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, brilliant. Okay, now we've cut them off. Let's see. None. An attack. It's 
support attack there. And attack with those guys or something. I don't know. You know, the Lithuanians look like they've got that covered, so... Meanwhile... At Le Havre... We seem to be winning? It's a bit back and forth, though. Um, why, why don't we see if we can... No, actually, not yet. I was going to say, see if we can grab Paris, but first, I think before we do that... Let's punch our way into Troy with... The entire Ukrainian army. Um... Oh <laughs> boy, uh, Nancy's been lost again. Oh, for crying out loud! It's just getting farcical now. Out of curiosity, I've been wondering. 37 infantry divisions, that's the entire Ukrainian army, in addition to 51 infantry divisions of the Austrians. It's quite a bit, really. The, our allies' armies are really are not to be sniffed at, you know. You might think they're a bit backwards in third world, but these guys have got large numbers of troops, especially the Ukrainians. They have oh, the Austrian fleet getting itself destroyed again. Come on. We need to kick him out of Troy so I can advance on Paris safely. Defeat in Nancy. Get <laughs> I think we might have destroyed quite a few French divisions that were up here. I wasn't actually paying attention, unfortunately. Well, anyway. We are winning. Like, officially, we are winning. Look. Look at this. Look at this. All this, ours. We are winning. This is good. Some people were saying we were going to end up like the Russian. Let's play. Oh, ye of little faith. Anyway. <laughs> Come on, Ukraine. Pull through for us here. Victory in La Havre. Okay. I wasn't expecting that to happen quite so soon, but fine. Come on. Just a little sliver more. Feet in Nancy again. I hate this province. This is the worst province in the game. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Whatever. Just keep them busy. If, 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 the, if, the, if the French want to stick 40 billion divisions down here to try and take this one sodding province, at least they're not up here defending Paris. Um, that's the main thing I hear, I, I think, really. You know what? Just attack Paris straight away. I think the Ukrainians have got this locked down here, really. Just a matter of time. This is victory in Dieppe. Okay, yeah, we were defending it, gotcha. And you can attack as well. Let's grab Paris. It might set off an event for all I know, actually, that makes the war a bit easier if we, if we capture Paris. I think the Bay of Mecklenburg was under attack. Interesting. Did they sneak some submarines through or something? Certainly they did. Um, but ours won. Look at the battle tabs. We seem to be winning most of them except Nancy, which is as ever proving to be a bit of a bloody problem. Can we maybe just counter-attack? Maybe that'll throw a spanner in the French works. A little bit there. Come on, let's get with Paris. And Troy, because that's taking absolutely forever. Duh. Hey, Paris is ours. So weak. Which means you lot can actually support the attack on Troy, which should completely break them, I think, now. 108 divisions versus 24? Yeah, you're, you're fucked, France. Sorry. They <laughs> uh, Coming in France. Killed more than they lost. No, no, they lost 138,000 men. 
they only managed to kill 66,000. Damn. Victory in Troy. Awesome. Which means you lot can actually support that attack down there, and then the whole front ripples forward in sort of some sort of gigantic, ghastly Mexican wave. Um, why don't we move you forward into there? Have you guys move into Khan? I think. I mean, they'll probably put up a little bit of a fight for now. Oh, look, we're getting nine armored divisions now as opposed to light armored divisions. We're getting some panzers, guys. Um, the upgrades are doing their work, if a bit slowly. But yeah, I think we've. I think the French are screwed now, guys. We um. We, we're winning. They're on the losing straight. Um, like I said, they'll probably put up a stiff fight. There's still a fair few of them left, but you know, they're down to 98 divisions. They are thoroughly outnumbered and outgunned, and their army's in a bit of disarray. So. My god, this fucking province, I swear to god. The fall of Paris, there we go. Paris, capital of the Commune of France and the centre of the syndicalist movement has been captured. We are facing resistance from the civilian population but we will soon take full control of the city. National descent has been changed by minus 5%. It won't be long now. Yes. Come on, squish them, squish them! <laughs> Excellent! Attack, support attack. If I can't take Nancy for myself and hold on to it, I'll fucking surround the place. Hey, look, the Danes have decided to send some diet guys down here. Good on you, Denmark. In spite of the fact that you're under threat of naval invasion. Well, you're, you're kind of not, though, are you? Because the entire goddamn Kaiser Le Marine is um, hanging around, preventing that from happening. I'll think about I'll, I'll think about sending my navies out offensively once we've dealt with France, frankly. Because that eight, those eight aircraft carriers of the Union of Britons are still a problem. They're just not an immediate one. We'll get to liberate part of Switzerland while we're at it too, by the looks of things. Paris has been... oh, for fuck's sake, honestly. <sighs> so, do you leave one section of your goddamn front open and some asshole sneaks in? Right, I'm going to have to do that again now, actually. I <laughs> don't think so, France. Sorry. I said I captured Paris, and I meant it. Squish them. Better yet. Um, you know, forget that. God, this is confusing now. Stop. And attack those guys. Maybe even get some help from this lot. Don't need many of them, just a few. To get that bonus from attacking in multiple directions. Yeah, in fact, do that way. Then we can surround the guys in Paris and wipe them out. Apparently one of our divisions was destroyed in the Havre. It's not good. We are pushing them a bit hard, aren't we? Anthony Fokker dies. Anthony Fokker, the famous Dutch aircraft designer, died today from meningitis. He was just 49 years old. He became well known during the Weltkrieg by designing aircraft for the German Luftstreitkrafter. 
Um, this included the Fokker DR1 triplane, the favourite airplane of Manfred von Richthofen. After the World Krieg, his Fokker Verka, uh GmbH, which included a Dutch branch, kept on designing planes for the Luftstreitkrachter. Fokker's chief designer, William Messerschmitt, will replace him as CEO. And thus Fokker becomes Messerschmitt. Yeah, this card's becoming a bit of an issue, amazingly enough. Because you know, there's only you know, there's not a lot of in, not a lot of infantry divisions there, and you'd think they'd be pretty battered and worn by this point, but guess not. Oh boy, victory Paris, victory Chartres. And we eliminated the guys in Paris. Good stuff. Chartres a bunch are under attack immediately though. Unfortunately. What are you guys doing? Oh. Attack Orleans. Orleans, I should say. Because that is the correct French pronunciation. Um Ooh, brilliant, we got Nancy back finally. And we're actually pushing Belfort. Good to know. And you without supplies. What? Who's without supplies? I do hope it's not our lot. No, I don't think so. It must be the French that are out of supply for some reason. Um, so, the Social Republic of Italy have landed one bomber division in Paris. They better move it quick. Else it's gonna go. Maybe we can get some flanking support on Khan now. Oh yeah, there we go. Go grab Avranches. No, not all of you. Just some of you. Go grab Avranches. Delegation from La Plata. A group of Platinean politicians and businessmen have arrived today in Berlin. They want the support of our government in convincing our industrialists to fund new factories in their country. Invest? What a way to resort. I will invest, why not? It's not going to cost much. In fact, it's going to cost practically nothing. Alright, let's move into Falaise. At some point, I'll let my troops actually sit around and rest for a bit, actually. But then again, you know, the longer we sit and rest, the longer the French get to sing, sit and rest. So it. Mm. Defeat. No. What? Really? Wow. Okay. Deep logistics organization. Winter equipment. That would be pretty good, actually. Proof computing would be better, however. Let's do that. Uh, right, well, you know what? Let's just hang tight for a minute or two. Massive strike. What's that? That was an air doctrine, I imagine. Or something. I don't know. I oh, know that was a naval one, wasn't it? I think massive strike. Yeah, it was. Modern firepower, 1946. No, we won't be doing anything with, with that. Yeah, I don't think. Um, dispersed fighting doctrine. I suppose we might as well. Von Richthofen. Oh, we have Werner von Braun now. Awesome. And Otto Hahn and Lisa Meitner. They're a nuclear. They're nuclear physicists, by the looks of things. That's interesting. I haven't put any research into nuclear, you know, research yet. It's something I'm thinking about doing. Oh, I have bloody aircraft, airplanes, don't I? Up a derp. <laughs> Quite a few of them too, actually. Maybe I should do something with them. Ground support. Ground support. Supp 
support attack. Da, 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 da. Attack. Da, 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 da. Just bloody attack. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that's. It's doing quite. In fact, been, I think the aircraft are helping quite a bit, actually. I forgot about them completely. Alright, then we cut these guys up off here on this is this by the way here is called the Contenta Peninsula. I know this because I have been there many times in fact on holiday. It's a very 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 nice part of the world. Um, don't mind saying. Private initiative boost production. Stock market is rising again after the announcement that more than 40% of our companies have reported higher profits than expected. The Minister of Finance welcomed this good news because it, the effects may well lead to increases in output and lowered costs in the public sector. Right, anyway, I, I, this, this episode has probably lasted already a ghastly amount of time. In fact, I may have had to split it in multiple parts. Um, but I'm going to end now. And when we come back, we are going to finish off France, pretty much. That sounds terrifically dirty, but never mind. <laughs> We're going to destroy what's left of them. Uh, we have pretty much won at this point. It's simply a matter of time, um, because unfortunately they will put up a, they will put up stiff resistance. Um, unlike in real life, they are probably going to fight to the last man, um, which means we could be here for some time. But ultimately, th this is a foregone conclusion. Now we are going to win. We've knocked out most of their army. They have. 89 infantry divisions left, they're screwed, you know, I could put the AI covering my troops on now, and uh, we'd win. Um, so, yeah, no, th no no, small part in thanks, however, to our, our loyal allies over here in Austria and the Ukraine, and as well as these little guys too, um, but mainly Austria and the Ukraine, we could not have done this without them, it's fairly safe to say. And we've got more infantry divisions on the way. We've got loads of them, in fact. Um, more than we could possibly need at this point, in fact, but never mind. It's good to have the damn things, you know, because there's... In addition to dealing with France, there's always a constant arms race going on in the rest of the world between, you know, say us and Russia and Japan and... Mainly these guys as well, actually, the, the CSA over here. They've got 62 infantry divisions. Infantry divisions, sorry. Um... Which is 20 more than they had last time I checked, so, you know, they're growing too. And what we don't want to happen is we get to a situation whereby I have, say, something fairly good, like 120 infantry divisions, but these guys have been spamming them the whole time, and then by the time we get to a point where we need to invade America, which we're going to have to do at some point or another, um, they have, like, 400 infantry divisions because they've just been sat there building them all game and that will happen sometimes believe you me it really really will um, they will sit there and they will just build and 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 build that's all they will do um, until they've got such a titanic army that there is it is invading them is completely impossible so yeah anyway that's enough waffling and gabbing from me um you witnessed the turn of the tides in this war. In both directions for a little bit, but mostly in our favour towards the end there. And when we come back, we'll finish what we started. Or what the French started, to be fair, actually, now I think about it. But anyway, turn off for now. Or should I say, I'll feed it in. Whatever.